Okay, so here's where we stand. 2015 KTM 250 SXF. Last time I went to ride this thing, we drove all the way up to the Hatfield McCoy trails. I made it five minutes on asphalt before the bike sputtered out. It seemed to be running fine previous to that. Um, and then from that point forward, it just stopped running. It sounds like the e-start's still working. I checked the fuel, I checked the fuel filters. I can't really check compression because there's no Kickstarter. So I'm just using the e-start button. Um, what I've done, I've disconnected the battery, I've drained the oil, I've removed the valve cap and seal. I believe that there is a leaky valve. That's my estimate right now. My plan is to take off the head and then dig in. I've never done this before. This is my first time. I'm not even all too familiar with the filming aspect of it but I'm gonna need this account of how to put everything back together later on. So we're just gonna give it a go. If you guys have suggestions, maybe it'll be too late by the time this is posted, but uh, we'll just have to see how things go. So stick along, enjoy the watch, and uh, wish me luck. First things first, we drain the coolant, obviously, but also this bolt right here locks the flywheel. There's a little copper washer on it. I need to take that out, take the washer off, and put the bolt back in. That'll lock the flywheel in place, so nothing within the actual engine internals will spin or move once I get into it and uh, start tearing in. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Let's not forget to undo it later. That's the key. All right, so what I've done here so far is unplug the thermostat, remove the engine mount bolt uh, brackets, up top. We've obviously taken the valve cover off. I've loosened this air boot so that it'll be a little bit easier to get out once we get to that stage. Next, we've got to remove the engine bolts. There's two here. There's one on the opposite side that's smaller, and I'm told that there's two inside as well. We're just going to dig around and explore because I don't exactly know. Here we go. Scratch that. We're not going to remove these bolts just yet. We need to do the cam chain tensioner. So let's go ahead and start with that first. All right. I just took out <clears throat> four of the bolts from here out of these tops. The fifth one that I pulled out had all this black gunk on it. It came out of this hole right there in particular, that one. I don't know what that means, but that's one of the intake valves. So we're just gonna keep note of that. I, like I said, I don't really know what it means. Let's go ahead and get the last one out. All right, so it's been about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour, since I last checked in with you guys. We've made some progress. The head is almost off. You can see here, trying to work with this, the air boot was giving me some trouble, but we've got that kind of out of the way. I loosened up the swing, uh, sorry, the subframe just a touch so that I could kind of finagle it a little bit. Like I said, the head's almost off. If I come around the other side and I get the light on it, I don't know if this is going to be very visible for y'all, but the piston looks like a lot of carbon buildup, but nothing cracked from what I can tell there. And then the valves underneath... Those look all right, too. I was expecting a little bit more damage or something. However, one thing I noticed was there's a lot of black gunk in this particular, sorry, this particular spot right here underneath that cam. Lots of black 
gunk here. None in the other three compartments. So not really sure yet how it's going to pan out, but we're just going to keep moving, take the parts off, and see what we find once we get a little bit deeper in. So stay tuned, and uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I am. It's fun. All right. Here it is. We got it. It's off. So now what? 